Hello, my name is Ehsan and today I'm going to talk about the SIP software. SIP software is a software for architectural, structural, mechanical, electricity and also thermal analysis. And this software is, has a different modules, also management and other stuff. Also it has a, a component for connecting to the Revit. So uh, one of the questions the most of the uh, architect maybe ask me about this software is how they can transfer their 3D model uh, to the, this software. So this software has an IFC builder, so it means you can create your own actually uh, component as well, create your own 3D model as well. But this uh, also has a component for the Revit, so you can click on it and in your Revit software you will have a uh, component so you can transfer your file through all the modules here in this software. But how we can do the design in the parametric design software such as Grasshopper and uh, transfer our file to the SIP. So I'm going to show you the one of the easiest way for doing this one. For uh, example I'm going to create a new file here and from the add-in module I'm going to click on the Rhino component so it will connect to my Rhino and Grasshopper so after it connected I can design uh, for example completely from Grasshopper or maybe Rhino and Grasshopper both together and for this example I'm going to design in Grasshopper So uh, you can see that my 3D model from Grasshopper is already here and I can transfer my file to actually a BIM server and also it's parametric so if I change anything in my Grasshopper it all change in Rhino so for example I'm changing the segments or whatever after that, from Adam, I can transfer my file to the BIM server. So I click on the Open BIM, so and I transfer it to the BIM server. Uh, here, I can actually first I have to log into the BIM server. You can easily register it, and after that, I create a new project. I put my the name for my project. For example, here, I choose a name, add uh, choose a project type, and uh, maybe category or whatever. And after that, I accept it. It asks me for the IFC file name, and I also, I also uh, make a name for my IFC file. Then after accepting, it all through the BIM server. So after it transferred to BIM server, I can use it on different kind of the modules. For example, here I'm going to use the Lux one. The, the looks module in SIP, it, uh, it is for artificial lighting analysis. So I wanted to transfer this file to the this module. For the other module, you can also do the same, no different. For here, I create the project for looks analysis. After that, I import the file from the BIM server. I select my project. They are the project that I have in my BIM server. So I select the one and press next and it is already importing actually the file from the BIM server and it's a preview 
so I can look into my module and model and press next and finish and it is uploading to the BIM server as well and this time so if I check the BIM server website I can see even through my BIM server or even through my application mobile of the BIM server so I can see the process of the 3D designing or other stuff in the BIM server as well so here you can see that my 3D model is here but what if my parametric design is going to change for example here I'm going to again open my grasshopper and little bit change this 3D model for example I'm going to change some of the parameter like here I'm going to change it like this one or maybe like this so it's it has a change actually from the previous model so again I click here and export the file to the BIM server accept it and right now it is updating after updating if I refresh my BIM server I can see my new model that's as a change so even if, in, if, I, if I go to any module I can see the update button is just something like blinking it shows that there is a new update so I know that there is something changed in my model so I again click on the update and I get the latest update from the BIM server so when anybody change on the model every other participant mechanical engineer structure engineer or other part other parties they understand that there is a change and uh, it's gonna be one united file actually in the BIM server